Hi, Leah. Wynn here with Ring in SEO and Digital Marketing. First of all, thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to make this short custom video that Tony promised with tips and tricks on how you can increase your online presence all on your own and in return bring in better paying customers for the services you prefer the most and they are ready and able to purchase. So let's get on with it. First of all, I'm really impressed by your work. Um, I think it's great that you were featured on HGTV and NBC. Um, beautiful, beautiful designs, beautiful pictures. Now, <clears throat> to Google though, content is king and we recommend on your homepage having at least 1,500 words of unique, helpful content. Um, also, Leah, even though I did see Central Ohio mentioned in your website, I didn't really see any specific cities and locations. Um, Google is really, really looking for those, so it makes it easier for when people are actually searching for your services that Google is able to connect them with your website. So there's 8.5 billion searches on Google every single day. And a lot of those people are searching for your services and in your locations. But if Google is not able to match those, then you're not going to get found for very many of those things. Um, I can definitely tell that you love your business. I see that you've really put a lot into it, which is great. Um, I would also like to see your different services listed out over here. Um, and each of those services um, can even have a certain location page depending on where you do the most work. Those are probably where the most people are searching for your business. And so having separate pages for all those things with the content that we talked about um, is very important. And then also, just to let you know, content is not just words on a page. So Google can actually see behind the scenes on websites and whereas a lot of people have the generic saving with just numbers and, and letters, you do have this, but you really need location-specific buyer intent keywords, which we're really going to talk about here in a moment. So let's go ahead and look at your numbers. Now, your numbers don't look bad. Your numbers look pretty good. Um, this is the UR and DR, and the UR represents your trust with Google, and your DR represents your power with Google. Now, the reason I said that these aren't bad is because these are relatively close together, which means that they have what we have with the golden rule, um, which these numbers should be as close together as possible. Now, the way you do this is with backlinks, and of course, you do have 418 backlinks. And just to let you know, in case you may not, um, all a backlink is is where you have a link on someone else's website, and it transfers power from their website to your website. Now, I do think if these were higher quality backlinks, that these numbers would probably be higher. So let's go ahead and go look at the numbers of your competition. This is Elite Basements Ohio. <clears throat> now, as you can see, they actually have way less backlinks than you, but they have a higher UR and DR. So this means to me that these backlinks are a much higher quality than the backlinks that you have. And they're also being found for a lot more keywords. And then the organic traffic is 411 as compared to your 46. So as you can see, this makes a huge difference in the way that you do this. So let's talk about the keywords that need to be saved with your images and then also found in your content on your website. So you're looking for location-specific buyer intent keywords. Um, so let's see if we can find one really quickly. We have a lot of national ones. Okay, here's a good example, even though it's not in your area. But you can at least see what I'm talking about. So we have basement remodeling, Jacksonville, Florida. Now, 100 people a month are searching for that exact search term. And it has a very low keyword difficulty, which means it wouldn't take very long at all within three to six months to rank for this keyword. And then you're able to be found by those 100 people for the base remodeling in Jacksonville, Florida. So there's a couple of things that I do want to talk to you about, Leah. Um, the next one is going to be the Google Map Pack or the Google My Business.
this one's kind of weird. I think it was because I had to put in Central Ohio instead of a city. So this is the Google Map Pack. 98% um, of the time is going to be the very first thing that business that people searching for your services are going to see when they pull up things like face refinishing Central Ohio. And the way that you get to the top of these, because the top three contractors on the Google My Business share at least 25 to 40 percent of all the searches for that search term. So the way that you get to the top of the Google My Business page is primarily with citations. Um, all a citation is is your name, address, and phone number across different places across the web. Whether that's the Better Business Bureau or Facebook or Instagram, there's also hundreds of thousands of directories. Now you do want to try and make sure that these are trusted sites and not spammy, um, and that they're within your niche. So you want to have remodeling, maybe in home and garden, um, HGTV. <laughs> Pardon me. And you want to make sure though that your name and your address and phone number is congruent across all the different places. So that way there's no doubt in Google's mind of what you're doing and where it's at. And the same thing with the pictures. Um, every time you do a job, try and take pictures and load it to your Google My Business page, also your social media accounts. And you want to also, with these images, save them with the keywords that we just talked about, and then also geotag the pictures. That way, Google knows for sure that you are doing these services in the location that you're doing them in, and Google knows exactly who to send to you. So let's go talk about a couple more important things. Um, the next most important thing is going to be reviews. Of course, you want to have as many five-star reviews as you possibly can have. Um, if you do get a bad review, make sure you go answer it as soon as you possibly can. Um, that really gives you brownie points to Google also if you're communicating with your customers. Then we also have your business listing. I don't really have a business listing. Um, so they're really missing out with that. Um, normally right in this area we would have a business description. They can have up to 750 words on it. And you really want to have all your services listed out, what makes them unique, and what sets you apart from your competition and makes you better. So, Leah, I really hope that you have found this information helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. And we look forward to getting some feedback about this video from you. I hope that you have a wonderful day. Take care.